the eighth candidate to present his nomination forms to the commission was Mr. Kofi Kranting. There were no IT issues with his nomination forms. However, the team, the technical team noticed that 19 persons who had allegedly supported the CPP candidate had also supported Mr. Kofi Kranting. A further check revealed that these persons had not endorsed the candidate. Indeed, the CPP wrote to the commission about the issue, indicating that these persons were executives of their party. The technical team found that the signatures of these 19 persons were fake, and the matter was referred to the CID department of the Ghana Police Service. The CID did confirm that these signatures were fake. The candidate has therefore been disqualified, and the commission would forward this issue to the police for further action. Mr. Kofi Gane was the 12th person to file his nominations with the commission. There were no IT issues. However, the technical team found that a number of the signatures of many supporters followed the same pattern. And this was his, the signatures were referred to the CID division of the Ghana Police Service. And the police has confirmed that indeed a good number of the signatures were fake. The candidate has therefore been disqualified and will therefore not contest the 2020 presidential election. Mr. Apesi Odike was the 13th person to file his nominations with the commission. There were no IT issues. However, the technical team noticed that the handwritings were similar and the signatures were also similar and referred the matter to the CID division of the Ghana Police Service. The CID division confirmed that indeed a number of the signatures were fake and the candidate has therefore been disqualified and will not contest in the 2020 presidential election. Mr. Kwesi Busumbu of the PAP was the 14th person to file his nomination forms with the commission. There were no IT issues. However, the candidate failed to provide supporters for some districts in the greater Accra region and had incomplete data for a number of his supporters. Indeed, some of the supporters were not registered voters in the area of authority of the district assembly to which they endorsed his candidature, and there are a good number of them. The technical team also noted that the same persons, although they had endorsed for him on the, on the four separate forms, had different signatures. And what this means is that if you look at the, the forms, there were four forms, but, and so if you have a person called Amasera, her, her signature appeared on the four forms. His signature as appearing on the four forms were different. And this was in the case of Ashanti and Northeast regions. This was referred to the CID division of the Ghana Police Service, and they noted that the signatures were fake. And he has been disqualified from participating and contesting in the 2020 presidential election. The 15th candidate to present his nomination forms to the commission was Mr. Adjelin Vratin. There were no tech IT issues with his form. However, a good number of the three of the persons who supported his candidature have denied endorsing the candidate's nomination, and the commission has a letter to that effect. The commission referred the matter to the CID division of the Ghana Police Service and they confirmed that the signatures were fake. He has therefore been disqualified from contesting the 2020 presidential election. To the aspiring presidential candidates who did not make this process, we wish you better luck next time. Your filing fees of 100,000 CDs will be refunded to you.